In today's video, you're going to learn how to create high quality YouTube videos within minutes using AI software. So over the past few months, a lot of new AI softwares have come out that makes it so much easier to create content. And you can also create it at a fraction of the usual cost. So today you're going to watch me create a YouTube video in less than half an hour. And this is a good, high quality, original YouTube video. I'm not taking other people's content. I'm creating my own original content. So if you follow along with this tutorial, you'll also have a video done and ready to upload to YouTube. So there's just four simple steps. Step one, we're going to write a, a video script using AI. So this AI is going to write a script for you and you simply just need to make a few tweaks. Then we're going to create a voiceover. We're not going to use a voiceover artist. We're not going to use your own voice. We're going to use another AI software that sounds very human. Then step three and step four, we're just going to add some stock footage, do a few, add a few background music, make the video look legit, and then it's ready to upload. It's as simple as that. And we're going to do all of this in less than half an hour. So before we get started, if you want to be in the chance to win my YouTube masterclass course, all you have to do is hit the like button on this video, subscribe to this channel and comment down below with any video requests, uh, any questions or just any random comment. And if you do all three of those things, you'll be in the draw to win my YouTube masterclass course. So if you don't know what this course is about, it's got, it's packed with everything you need to know about how to start your own YouTube channel, how to grow the YouTube channel and how to monetize it. And even if you don't have any video editing experience, I'll show you exactly how to go from a beginner to advanced within this course. So you'll be in the draw to win this course. So all you have to do is like, subscribe and comment down below. And I pick a new winner every single week. So let's pick last week's winner. So I'm going to go to last week's video right here. Take the URL and I use this website called pickawinner.com to pick a random winner. So it's going to go through all the comments and um, it's going to pick a random winner from the comments. So let's click on pick a winner. So Mark, you are the winner of YouTube Masterclass uh, uh, course. Uh, all you need to do is email me with this account. So you need to email me with this Gmail account. You, sh you should have a Gmail account. So I'll know that it's you and I'll give you access to the YouTube Masterclass course. So if you want to win the course just like Mark, just like the video, subscribe and comment down below. So with that said, let's get started with today's video. So today we're going to create a YouTube video on creativity. So we're going to start by writing up the video script. And for this, we're going to use the software called writer.me. And this is probably the best AI writing assistant tool for beginners because it's free for 5,000 words per month. But if you want to write more than 5,000 words per month, then it's $30 per month. And you can write unlimited words for $30 per month. But if you're just starting out, 5,000 words per month is more than enough. So right here, I'm going to choose the language to be on English. The tone should be, I'm going to use thoughtful, but you can choose critical, um, formal, enthusiastic, but there's many different uh, tone of voice you can choose and the use case. So this is important. So usually I'll leave this on blog idea and outline, but you can also use email. You can write up a job description, video channel descriptions. There's so many, um, so much here, but usually I write up, write up a blog and I turn that blog into a video script. So let's click on that. And for the keywords, just make sure you put in the right keywords. So, this video is about creativity. So I'll just say something like ways to improve creative thinking. There we go. And then for the variance, leave this on three. So what it's going to give you is three different variants of titles. So different titles for a video or for a uh, different uh, blog post outlines and things like that. So let's click on write. And it only usually takes like a few seconds for to write uh, some things up. So here we go. So there's three different variants here. So there's three different titles and three different bunch of outlines here. So the, ten, the first one is called 10 ways to improve creative thinking and why you need it. Five ways to improve creative thinking. Uh, seven ways to improve creative thinking. So I think the first one's pretty good. The last two aren't that great. So I'm going to delete this one. And if you don't like all three of them, you can get it to write even more and it'll just write another three for you. So greater management skills. So I think I like the title here, but I don't really like the blog post outlines. 
So how to develop your creative thinking skills. So that's pretty good. Uh, five ways to improve creative thinking. So I like, I actually like this one here. So what I can do is just get rid of all of these, get rid of this one here as well. Oops, there we go. So we're left with just this one now. And sometimes it writes this on like a different line. So just get rid of all of that. So sometimes it takes the outlines and puts them in, in, on the same lines for some reason. So I'm not sure why it does that, but you can just fix that right away right here. So now we've got the blog post title, which we, we're gonna turn into a video title, and we've got the outlines. So what I'll do now is just highlight the title and I'll click on paragraph. So it's gonna write up an intro paragraph about the title. So you simply just highlight it and then just simply click on paragraph. So it says this article outlines the best way to develop your creative thinking skills. So instead of this article, I'll say this video. And creative thinking skill, creative thinking is a skill that can be around for centuries, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not gonna spend, make you guys watch me reading the entire thing, but you get the point. And you just need to fix some things right here. So you can see it stopped writing right here. So I'm gonna get rid of that last sentence. And that's it, so there's 200 words already. The importance of creative thinking. So I'll highlight that and I'll write up another paragraph. And you can only write up one paragraph at a time. So, uh, so that's good. And I'll write up another one right here as well. Myths of creative creativity and creative thinking. That's good. And five ways to improve creativity. So yeah, I like, yeah, that's good. Be curious about the world around you. So right here, if I just highlight this and then click on paragraph, it's only gonna make, write something about being curious. It's not gonna write something about being creativity. So what you have to do is just add the word creativity in there somewhere. So be curious about the world around you to be more creative or to, to spark your creativity. So to spark your creativity. So let's click, let's highlight that. So now writer knows that this is about creativity and being more curious about the world around you. So let's write something about that. And then after it writes up the paragraph, you can just get rid of the, the last part that you wrote right here. So you just wrote up the paragraph and now we can get rid of that now. So uh, that's good. So I'm gonna go back to the second one, listen to your intuition. Again, I'll just type in something like to spark, oops, to spark your creativity. And then simply highlight it and write up a paragraph. So just within a few minutes, we've already written 500 words. And we're gonna check for plagiarism as well. I'll show you how to do that soon. So that's good, I like that one. So I will get rid of that. Uh, play and use your imagination for fun. Again, I'll just type in to spark your creativity. So you just need to write something in here that tells writer that this is about this subject, which is, in this case, it's about creativity. So I'll highlight this, click on paragraph. And that's good. So again, just read through this and make sure it actually sounds good and all of that. Um, but just to keep this video quick, I'm just getting through this as soon as possible. And so already we've got 610 words, so let's do one more here. I'm just gonna write this as it is. Look at the possibilities, not just the problems. So uh, that's good, and let's try this one as well. Paragraph. So I think that's almost a thousand words just like that. So next we can also just write up like a conclusion. So I'll just say conclusion about creative thinking right here. So I'll just highlight this and I'll make this into a heading. So like a H2 heading right here. And then I'll click on paragraph. So there we go. So I'll just, instead of, uh, instead of saying conclusion here, because we don't want the video script to say conclusion, um, I'll just um, head back on that and that's it. So now we've got a script that's 894 words long. But before we move forward with this, we just need to check for plagiarism. So you simply highlight it, click on more, and then click on plagiarism. And usually about 90% of the time, there's no plagiarism. But I always check for plagiarism just in case. And if there is, so what you do is, let's say it did find 
plagiarism here, you can just highlight the word. So it can only you can you can only highlight three hundred words at a time. So if you highlight anything, oh, oh yeah, sorry, yes, yeah, so you can only um, t highlight three hundred words at a time. And let me just put in. There we go. So there's two hundred ninety five words here. So let me just highlight this first sentence here. And I'll just click on rephrase. So it will reword that article for you. So sometimes it doesn't do it properly. There we go. So it just reworded that um, that those uh, three sentences there. So if there is some plagiarism, just highlight it and click on rephrase. And remember, you can only highlight 300 words at a time to rephrase. So right here, this should be less than 300. So now we've got the script. So let's start creating the voiceover. So for this, I'm going to use this tool right here called uh, wellsaidlabs.com. So Wellsaid Labs has a seven day free trial. It's by far the best uh, AI voiceover tool that I've seen. So usually it will cost you hundreds of dollars to hire a voiceover artist, but you can just use this one for like $50 per month and it's way cheaper than a voiceover artist and it sounds very human. So all you have to do is go into your script and you can't just copy and paste the entire script because there's a thousand character limit right here. So you can only put in a total of thousand characters right here. And you just need to make sure you have the full stops in, in the right places. So right here where it says the title, how to develop your creative thinking skills, make sure you put a full stop right here. Because if you don't do that, it's going to jump to the, to the next line like it's like one full sentence. So you just need to make sure all the full stops and all the commas and everything are in the right places. So I think I'm happy with that. I'll also put a comma right here as well. And that's good. So uh, let's click on create. So while it's creating this voiceover, I'm going to go into the next one the importance of creative thinking. So let's copy this. And let's paste this in here as well. And again, make sure you put in the full stops in the right places. And let's click on create. And let's take the next, next part of the script. Paste that in here. Again, put the full stops in there as well. And I'll take the next one. So I'm not going to go through the entire script right here, but you get the point. All you have to do is just simply copy and paste all of the scripts and click on create. So we've got uh, our, the first, I would say first half of the script right here. So let's just see how this sounds. So I'm going to hit play. How to develop your creative thinking skills. This video outlines some of the best ways to develop your creative thinking skills. Creative thinking is a skill that has been around for centuries. It is something that you learn and it will evolve as you grow older. It's an important part of our lives and it can be applied to many different aspects of life, including business, art, science, and technology. This article will outline some of the best ways to develop your creative thinking skills so that you can become more creative in all areas of life. So I'm going to pause it right there. So you'll notice that it said this article. So I'll probably have to redo that again. Instead of saying this article, it should say this video. So that's the only thing that I need to change. Um, that was my fault because I should have read through this before I created the uh, voiceover. So what I'm going to do now is just simply copy and paste all of this one by one and just create the voiceover. So I've just copied and pasted the entire script and turned them all into a voiceover. So all we need to do now is download them by clicking on this download icon right here. So I'm just going to download each one one by one. And we're going to start putting them all together now into a video with our, our video editor. So I'm going to use this video editor called vvideo.com, but you can use any other type of video editor that you want. So if you want to learn how to use vvideo.com, I'll leave a link to another video in the description below. So uh, I'm going to go into my uh, downloads folder right here. And let's take the last few videos that I just uh, voiceovers that I just created and I'm just going to upload them right here. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll also find some background music. So for this I'm going to use the YouTube audio library. So if you don't know where to find the audio library just click on this icon right here. Go, go to or just go to studio.youtube.com so studio.youtube.com and click on audio library. Then you can find a bunch of them right here. And then so I'm going to choose something calm so right here it says uh, actually inspirational is pretty good so i'll click on nine lives so let's try this one 
So that's a bit too much. So let's try this ambient one. So I actually think I like this one right here. Oh, sorry, this one. So uh, I usually spend a bit more time finding the right music, but just to keep this video quick, let's just try this one right here. So that's three minutes long. And let's just find one more. So maybe something like two minute one right here. Uh, that's a bit too much. Let's try this one. Yeah, so that's not too bad. So I'll just take this one. So again, I usually wouldn't use those two that quick. I usually, you know, hit play. On, I usually spend like at least 15 minutes just finding the right video to put, uh, right music to put into the video. So we've got the music now. So let's drag and drop that in here. And so one annoying thing about Well Said Labs is that they don't label the the voiceovers. So you have to like hit play and see which one the right one is. Improve your creative thinking skills. So that, uh, I think that's the first one, was it? So. So it starts off with how to d develop your creative thinking skills. So that was the first script. So let me go back. So let's hit play. Listen so that, to your no, that's number two. Let's try this one. Myths of creativity. Uh, that's not the one. The importance of creative thinking. Okay, let's try this one. How to develop your creative thinking. There we go. So that's the first script. So I'm going to drag and drop that into the audio section right here. And I'm going to turn, actually, I'll leave the audio for the voiceover at 100%. Now click on plus. I'll click on another audio track. So there's another audio track. And I'll put in this first one right here. So I'm going to turn this all the way down to like 10%. So let's hit play. How to develop your creative thinking skills. This video outlines some of the best ways to develop your creative thinking skills. So let's try that again because I think yeah five percent. How try to that develop again. your creative thinking skills? This video outlines some of the best ways to develop your creative thinking skills. Creative thinking is a skill that has been around for centuries. So that sounds pretty good. So now we've got the uh, voiceover with a background music. Now we just need to add in some videos in here now. So for this, I'm going to use pixels.com. So pixels.com is a great website to find copyright free images and videos. So I'll just go into videos right here and I'll just type in creative thinking. Let's see what comes up. So there we go. So yeah, so these are really good videos right here. So I'll just click on download on this first one. Uh, maybe click on this one right here. So it'll ask you to donate. It's up to you if you want to donate or not, but you can still use the video for free. So I'll click on download on this one as well. This one. So I'll just go through it and just download as much as I can. And then I'll go back to uh, bvideo.com and I'll just drag and drop a few of these in here. And we can start with maybe this first one right here. So let's put that in right here. Let's hit play and let's see how this looks. How to develop your creative thinking skills. This video outlines some of the best ways to develop your creative thinking skills. Creative thinking is a skill that has been around. So that's pretty good. Then I'll add next one. I'll just add this guy in here and then this one. And then for this, I think the second part of the script was the importance of creative thinking. So I think that was right here. Four. Question your assumptions. No, that wasn't it. Five. So myths of creativity and cre no. How to develop your creative thinking? Oh man, I think I'm missing. Question the importance of creativity. Oh, there we go. So I'll put this one in right here. So I probably should like leave a gap right here so it doesn't jump to the next voiceover right away. So what I'm going to do now is just keep adding a bunch of stock videos in there and also keep adding all the uh, voiceovers in the right order. And then I will come back to you guys after the video is finished. So in just a few minutes, I've found a bunch of stock footage from pixels.com. And I also changed the background music to a different one. So I picked a different one from the audio library and I added all of the voiceovers. So in less than half an hour, we just created a full YouTube video with our own script, our own voiceovers, and it's our own original video. So that's how easy it is now to create content with AI. So it's, it's so much easier, so much better, and the quality is much higher. 
So uh, if you want to see this full video that I've created, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I'll leave it on uh, Vimeo.com so you can watch it there. But as you can see now, it takes a fraction of the time to create a video um, as it used to be. So it used to take like at least, I would say about two, three hours per day to create your own video. So if you want to write your own script, do your own research, to do your own video editing, to create creating your own voiceover, if you do all of that by yourself, at best you can get it done within three, four hours. Usually it takes like a team of people to do the writing, to do the voiceover, to do the video editing and everything else. But now with all of these AI softwares like Wellset Labs and um, Wellset Labs and Writer, you can do it all by yourself in just a few minutes. So go out and try both of these softwares, try to create your own videos. And you can you guys can email me at help at dreamcloudacademy.com with your YouTube channels. I would love to see what you guys are creating. Uh, you can also comment down below with any questions or any other video requests on AI software. There's way more videos that I'm that are coming on AI software. Um, so stay tuned tuned for that. Make sure you make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.